Hello there, everybody. It's Nintendo Sega. I'm here, and guess what? I'm here with the sexiest Pokemon alive. Who wrote this script? God, it's bad. Why? Sexiest Pokemon alive. Holy shit, this is horrible. It's six pages of just. Oh, God. This is bad. I think I wrote this. I think. I wrote this. I think I wrote this. This is the worst thing I've ever written. Well. Down it goes. <laughs> Ring, I want to talk about the common question of the day. So, what do you want to see in a Mega Pokemon? That means which Pokemon would you want to see in a Mega Pokemon Pokemon? I mean. So, what Pokemon would you like to see in Mega form in terms of how would you want to use them? And why? I'm kidding. If it was that complicated, it would be an entire another video. All I'm asking is what Pokemon do you want to see as a Mega? What ability would they have? And if you had a chance of typing, what would it be? For me, I would give, um, Jol uh, Jolteon? Well, I don't know what I want to give. I'm probably going to give a Victini. Victini should have, um, I didn't really think this through. Victini, I'm going to keep the typing because that's rare typing. And I'm going to give it the ability. I kind of want to keep its mega ability, but yeah, I'm going to keep its mega ability. So everything stays the same with Victini, just get some stat boost, like Mega Titar. So, um, moving on. Let's start off with Mega Ursaring and let's see what he is going to get, well, what I want to see him getting is because it's going to be cool. Mega Ursa Ring. Really, 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 I hope that they do this. Should be a ghost normal type. Or normal or normal ghost type. Either way, it does not even matter. Now you guys are just like, that's a pretty good typing. Uh, if you guys have already read ahead. So let's get started. You probably see my, mic, uh, my uh, mouse in the intro. The, the only reason why is because, yeah. Uh, uh, there's a weird thing with my uh, file, so I need to reload it, and my mouse was in the way I couldn't edit it out. Well, I was editing my intro into this video. It's probably going to be like that for a while. Anyway, so, as you can see, in Ghost Normal Type, what is it? it it's a type which is ridiculously amazing. Um, let's look at his weakness. The only weakness it has is Dark. And now let's go ahead and look at the resistances before we get to the abilities. A jackass is riding his car so loud. Thank you so much for ruining my video. Hey ho. Um, fighting. It's not resistance. He just can't be hit by fighting because he's a ghost type. Ghost cannot be hit because he's a normal type. Damn it. Normal because he's a ghost type. Poison is just a ghost type resistance. A bug is a ghost type resistance. These are the five typing, and fighting is probably one of the most common types as well as normal. So having two ridiculously common types, as, fe as well as ghosts. Ghosts is now really common because of that new clause about steel types, about how they don't resist ghosts. So that's good. So only weakness is dark, like I mentioned. So I would give it the ability justified. Now you're just, uh, now you're just, guys are, your mouth's open, it's just like, why not tough claws? Shit, I should have given him tough claws. I just thought of a random ability that bear would have. Look at the picture. Oh my god, he, he totally needs tough claws. Well, too late to change it, the Maldry, like, halfway through, more than halfway through the video, so. Shit. Tough claws. That was going to be amazing. Tough claws! Hashtag tough claws, mega earth ring in the comments below if you want to, because really, you don't have to, because he doesn't exist with tough claws anymore. I would give him Justified, because his only weakness is Dark-types, and you're just like, Mega Earth Ring can't take a Dark-type attack, neither could 
normal Earth Ring if it was super effective. Earth Ring cannot even take a Mach Punch well. He could, but very, very, very horribly. Anyways, let's look at how Justified works. Just in case you don't know what Justified is, it puts you to plus one if you're hit by a dark type attack. Plus one is, let me talk in uh, showdown terms, 0 0.16. That's, um, that's about, I don't know, less than a half, and a half is about, it's plus two. Half is plus two. So what I'm trying to say, I'm talking about uh, showdown rules. So what it, this basically is, is that he will get a major boost because plus one attack is no not too shabby. Plus two is even better. So um, before we head to the layout, I just want to say that uh, justified will make a lot of sense after you see the layout. And if you're like, oh, it does not make a lot of sense. It's just an earth string. It should have straight power. I do agree with you. I really do. But, bef but before we look at my layout, I want to show you what Mega Earthring gets. I mean, Earthring gets on his own. Alright, so let's look at Earthring's stats. Now, Earthring gets two abilities that are good, and that's Guts and Quick Feet. Guts doubles his attack if he has a status condition. Quick Feet doubles his speed if he has a status condition. So that's r those are really good abilities. There's a reason, though, why he's below OU and UU. I think he's in NU right now. It's because of his abysmal speed and his abysmal... Oh, God, that's bad. Not to mention that his HP is ridiculously good and attack is just beyond great. This is the new Absol. He could be amazing, and Mega Absol has now been boosted up to UU. Uh, Absol in the last gen, I believe, was NU. And still, that's pretty low compared to how great he could have been. But still, that's better than NU. So I do believe this will push him to Ubers, maybe. Um, I really hope not, because I want to use him a lot. Um, but I want to see him have this in OU, because he will just destroy everything. His attack stat is great as it is. His defense is special, and speed stats, defenses, and special attack and speed stats are horrible. HP cannot be changed, but that's fine. He's great HP. So let's get started with the layout I gave him. All right, we'll be going stat by stat through all of this. So attack, I want to give him a plus 30 boost, and if you remember, attack was 130, so that means he has 160 attack. That is ridiculously high as it is, so don't get too greedy. Special attack, I wasn't going to give it any boost. I'm actually going to deduct 35 from it, making it 40. That means 35 extra stats. That means in total there's about 105 stats left after the 30 stat boost. Otherwise there would be about 135 stats in total. Speed, I would give 55 to boost him up to 110. Now, that might seem a bit too high, but he's a ghost. That means he loses all of his weight. He went to the gym and then died and then went to the gym again and died again and then and then he became a ghost, bu a really buff ghost type. Uh, and plus, you don't see a lot of physical ghosts other than Age Slashers and Ubers, so that's cool to have another physical ghost. Anyway, so moving on. So now we have 50 stats left. Because one, uh, 105, my, uh, if 55 is deducted from 105, you have 50 stats. I would give defense 25 and special defense 25. So he has 100 and 100. Basically what that means is that he can take any one hit and just rebuttal. Again and again and again. Destroy everything. Now if this were to happen, he would have to have this move set. Well, he wouldn't have to. You could switch return for double edge. You could switch Crunch for Night Slash, could do really anything with this. But Close Combat and Shadow Claw are things that... Yeah, there's a guy being an asshole. He's like really loud. I'm not sure whether you guys can even hear it. Um, outside, it's like really loud. I'm gonna try and edit that out on audio. Try to pull my voice out over everything. So. Basically, return is something that you must probably have on your string or thrash. The thrash would be locked in, and that wouldn't be good either. Really, I would give him a scrappy if he wouldn't just die in one hit. Um, anyway, so return is there because it's actually about 102 att uh, attack if you get it correct, and that is if you. If it's max happiness, and if it is, then you know it's really, really good. Because then you could get a really powerful stab attack. Uh, close combat, 
is necessary for all ghost types. I don't think return can. I'm not ghost. Dark types because I don't think return can kill. And crunch, it, it would be nice to have because, um, you, you know, you don't know what could come out. Let's see, what is crunch super effective against? It's super effective against ghosts and psychic. Okay, that's pretty horrible because I have shadow claw. I, I don't know why I put crunch on there. This that's pretty much all you could really give him that doesn't completely suck. So that's what I have for Mega Ursaring if Mega Ursaring comes out, which I really hope it does. And if you liked this video, go ahead and leave a comment down below telling me what you thought of it um, and what I could do. And if you want to see another Mega I do a layout for, or if you want to see another Mega in general I do this for, go ahead and leave a comment too because I'm open to anything. I'm probably going to try Mega Young Mega next. Shit, I. I just forgot the name. It was Mega Yan Mega. <laughs> okay, we're gonna fix that probably next time. I'm gonna do like one of these a week. I might do another one today because I want to get things done. But I'll be uploading this uh, the day I'm uploading it. So thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like, comment, and press like. I'll see you guys next time on the next video, which is probably Crystal Nuzlocke. Maybe I don't know. I just came back from vacation, so you know. Hope you guys keep watching. Say goodbye, Megaris Ring.